Uh, last night after the stream, uh, I went and watched some Nick and Fat T clips. I guess was watching the stream and uh, insinuated that I was drunk in the chat because I was going at people. I, I don't know if people understand this, but I don't have to be drunk to go at people. <laughs> Uh, so I busted out the breathalyzer, which I did go and find after it was brought up on stream a few weeks ago. Can someone please tell this buffet-busting bitch that I don't have to be drunk to dunk on fucking losers in Rakata's chat? Why don't I just tell her? Click. Click. That oh, might be the clearest oh, shot I've ever got of the breathalyzer, by the way. What's that? Oh, it's all zeros. <laughs> All zeros. I'm going to do another one today. I might just start doing one every day. Now let's see if I can get as clean a shot. Oh. There it is. All zeros uh, on the breathalyzer. I may start doing one every single day. I don't know. Um, just to prove it. Just to prove it. You can't, uh, you can't, as far as I know, you can't fake a breathalyzer. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there is some kind of way, but um, if there is, I wish they would have told me before I got that DUI way back in the day. <laughs> All zeros. That is correct. All zeros on the score. Another Ralph a W. <laughs> uh, the All Day and Night Fund on your screen. Powerchat.live slash the Ralph Retort. Also, Rumble Rants, killstream.live slash tip, which got uh, some usage last night. Dollar Sign Sunset Squad on Cash App. Many different ways to support the show. There's me holding up uh, the breathalyzer. Now, will we start there? I don't know. Maybe I should just start with the Ricada thing uh, and then get into the Hoffman, into the Hoffman bit. Um, so I'll play this. I got a few different things on Ricada here, actually. And I watched... I don't know, maybe like an hour of his stream. I probably shouldn't have. Um, I probably should have been working on my own shit, but I, I saw he was coming back. I know there was a lot of um, people trying to pile on him from the stream before. Now, this isn't a clip from that. This is, um, let me play. This is what, um, this is what Kiwi Farms and some others have been trying to go in on him over. Uh, and they're alleging that he's talking about a poster on their site named Captain Manning. Now, the reason I know about this story already is because Captain Manning himself has posted this story on Kiwi Farms and talked extensively about how Nick Ricada saved his life uh, and how he was his emergency contact and all this stuff. Well, Nick goes into it here. Now, he does seem to be inebriated. Uh, I haven't seen the whole entire clip. Um, but the thing is, this story had already been revealed by Captain Manning. Now, you can disagree with Nick doing this or whatever, but the story was already out there, and it was revealed by the guy who... the key player in the story. And I'm pretty sure I could probably find the post. I haven't searched and found it. Um, because the guy's made, I don't know, thousands of posts on Kiwi Farms, but I'm pretty sure it can be found. And he talked extensively about how he used to call up Nick and, you know, get advice and how he had saved his life and all this stuff. I remember reading it. That's how come I know. Uh, and that's how come I knew exactly who he was talking about, because this guy used to be a fan of Ricada's. And then, as happens, by the way, it's happened to me, uh, he decided that he didn't like Nick Ricada anymore for whatever reason. And, you know, the mob turns against you and some people desert you. And that's just how it goes in the, in the business. And it's not a fun part of the business. Somebody, you know, some of these, it's happened to me with people who I thought were actual friends of mine. And then they drop you like a bad habit because of bad PR. Now, it could be deserved. Or it could be undeserved. In my opinion, I've gotten a lot of both. <laughs> I've gotten bad PR for shit that I did to myself uh, and things I should have known better uh, than to do, like um, my past, uh, you know, adventures there in January. And it had started before that, but it just became, um, you know, undeniable then. Um, and several other times in the last year, things I knew I shouldn't have been doing. I shouldn't have been drinking. I definitely shouldn't have been. You know, I say that like Xanax is the special 
um, exception. Really, it's the drinking. <laughs> I said this before yesterday, but I knew I shouldn't have been doing that. I knew what those things do to me. Um, you know, I I, under, I understood that fully and still did it. Um, and I had the capability to resist, but I just let my guard down and said, you know what, I'm not going to resist. And I'm just going to do it anyway. So, and there's other things in my career that I've justifiably caught heat on. And then there's a whole separate gallery of just absolutely fake allegations about self, about all this nonsense that never fucking happened. And there's controversial shit that did happen, by the way. That, you know, I am in line to get criticized for or, you know, people to, you know, make hay about. But um, when you're in this job, particularly if you get to a certain level, now I'm climbing back up or attempting to, uh, but particularly if you get to a certain level, you get a lot of both. Uh, you get justifiable criticism or justifiable, you know, this guy's drunk or this guy's fucking up his show or this guy's fucking up his life. Um you know, I don't think that that's necessarily unfair commentary if somebody wants to make it. I, you know, I don't really, I'm not in the habit of policing somebody's drinking, or obviously. <laughs> I have to have a hard enough time uh, staying on my own policing here, uh, and I have been staying on it. But I, I don't feel like, if somebody asked me, you know, my opinion or what are some things I'm doing now that I'm not drinking and what I was doing before when I wasn't drinking, I would readily give them that opinion um, for sure. Don't link any other streams in chat. That would be a big mistake. Um, but, yeah, I didn't know that was happening, uh, Edgy. But, yeah, maybe. I don't know. What time's it happening? Um, I don't know when that's happening. But um, if somebody asked me for advice or asked me what I should do or what they should do or how I've done what I've done or where, where did I go wrong with the times that it that it went off the tracks, um, I would be perfectly, you know, fine giving them advice or giving them my experience. But I'm not in the business of being like, hey, you know, you're doing this or you're doing that and you need to stop and I'm I'm worried about your kids, which I've said this already. Nobody in this place is worried about anybody's kids. Like, that's just fucking retarded. They don't even really know these people. Um, and so, you know, you may be worried about a real life friend's kids or, or something like that, but people online who are saying shit like, I'm worried about his kids, I'm worried about his family, you're not really. You're just saying that to moral fag uh, is the term. Uh, and I've seen a lot of that. And, uh, you know, I don't, every time I see it, I'm just repulsed because I know they don't really. <laughs> it's basically impossible. To care about somebody's kids that you don't even know. Uh, that's just... Does that make any sense to anybody, right? Like, I don't... Anyway, um, this is what Riketa said on... What was it? I guess Tuesday? And, again, I've seen part of it, but I haven't seen all of it. Uh, he does appear to be um, inebriated. And I've been inebriated many times on stream. But the real thing they're, they're going at him on over this isn't the um, inebriation. It's him revealing this story on his stream. Now, it's true that his stream has a lot of people watching it, but there's a lot of people on Kiwi Farms as well. And this guy had posted this story in public on Kiwi Farms, I know for a fact, because I read it. And... Once you've already revealed something in public and then made it your mission to be like one of the guys who critiques Nick Ricada every day for years now, then I think you've put yourself into a different league. Now, if Nick had just revealed this out of nowhere, you know, for no reason, would that be a different story? Yeah, I think it would be. But that's not what happened here. This Captain Manning guy posted about this himself and posted about how he saw Riketa as a father figure. And, you know, I'm pretty sure he went into the suicide or attempted suicide or almost suicide thing himself because I remember the story. But he definitely went into his relations with Riketa and he definitely decided to post about Riketa nonstop online. Now, you could say Riketa should let it go. Um, or, you know, 
don't respond. That's fair. That's fair to say. But, you know, somebody is sitting there poking you every single day. It's a guy that you help save his life. And he's still making his mission to fuck with you every single day. Not just stop watching, not just go away, but to, like, try to become a critic of yours. And you know what you did for this guy. And they're out there trying to destroy you every single day. And you've had a few drinks. I mean, it's easier said than done. And I don't think it's some major violation at all. And that's what they're treating it as. It's like he betrayed this confidence and he did this and that. Well, the guy posted about it. The guy made himself a spectacle, just like you claim I do or you claim Mercada does or you claim whoever does just by doing this job. Well, he decided he wanted to be a commentator by posting nonstop about Nick Ricada and detailing his personal relationship with Nick Ricada. All right, well, if you want to do that, you've put yourself into a different category. It's not just somebody who used to support. It's not just somebody who's in the chat. It's not just somebody who's critiquing you. You're critiquing him from a level of, you know, claiming to have formerly been close to him and he formerly helped you with, you know, serious life issues, et cetera. And then you make yourself a spectacle. You make yourself part of the story, basically. Well, that's not the same. <laughs> that's not the same thing. That's not even the same as if he'd went on there and said, yeah, you know, I used to watch Arcade. I don't like him anymore for this, this, and that. Well, he said that, but then he went into all the personal interactions he'd had with Ricada. Well, at that point, you've, you've, met, you've turned yourself into something else. It's not just a stray comment. It's not just a former viewer. It's somebody who's tried to make themselves, you know, some kind of authority on Nick Ricada and has done it near daily for years because I've seen it. And so the narrative that they're trying to create now is that Nick betrayed this guy's confidence. Which is not the case because the guy had already talked about it in public, first off. Second off, he betrayed the veil of secrecy by going out there and putting his personal interactions with Ricada on display for others to break down and comment on. And certainly a lot of people made fun of him. I saw it myself. On Kiwi Farms. So their narrative, the anti ricada crowd narrative, is that Nick revealed this and it was never known and this poor guy and da 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 Well, that's not the case at all. Now, you may be able to say, well, should he have done that? Should he have just let it go? Should he have given them the ammo? I mean, I understand that argument. You know, but I also understand that it's easier said than done. Because I had all, similar things almost exactly happened to me. And you're out there every day taking the blows and you got to get out there and do your work no matter what. And you see this guy and he's just constantly bad-mouthing you and you know what you did for him in private. The guy puts you as his emergency contact and all this stuff. Well, Ricada, you know, he didn't ask Ricada. He, he, he just put him down as his emergency contact. At the hospital. And I guess the hospital called him. I don't even know the full details. And then I saw a super chat in Ricada's chat last night. And they're like, well, why did you allow him to put a measure? Why did you allow him to put you as his emergency contact? Well, you can't stop somebody from doing that. Like, I could put anybody as my emergency contact. And they won't even know they're my emergency contact in, until there's an emergency. And hopefully there won't be. But if there was, then they'll call him up. Ricada didn't have any control over that, and he didn't have any control over the guy making a spectacle of his personal relationship with Nick Ricada. Now, he did have control over sharing this or not. That's true. But it had already been shared. It had already been put out in public for, you know, public consumption. So once you do that, and then you badmouth the guy for years... I'm talking about Captain Manning on QB Farms. That's who I'm talking about. That's who John is. John, quote unquote. That's who that is. And he's talked about it ad nauseum on QB Farms, and I could probably find the posts. Maybe while we're on air. I'll see. But this, without a doubt, happened because I'd read him post about this before. 
And Captain Manning used to be a very close, you know, associate of Ricadas. You know, he's a fan, but he, you know, it was like a mod in the chat, I think. And, you know, talked to him off air and talked to him about life and, you know, him wanting to commit suicide and all this stuff. And then turned on him and then made a spectacle out of it. It's not even the turning. It's the, ma it's the making a spectacle of. You know, I've had people who I've talked to like that, not the exact same scenario, but who just go away for whatever reason. Maybe they stop watching all this. Maybe they don't like what they saw one day or what have you. And that's that sucks, especially when you think it's somebody that's your actual friend. But that does happen. And I don't know if people realize this, but streamers are people too. <laughs> And that's a sad thing when that happens. That's a sad thing when that happens. And it hurts your feelings, to be honest with you. Uh, so I imagine Ricada's feelings were probably hurt, probably hurt for a long time. And the guy continues on daily, day after day after day. And he's still in next thread liking posts and doing all this stuff. I don't know if he's posted since this, but he's still doing all that. But before Ricada said all this, I don't know if he's posted since then, but before he was posting near daily for years and talking in detail about his personal interactions with Nick Ricada. So when you do that, you have entered a new territory. It's not the narrative of Ricada outed this. Well, that's not true. And it's not true. I know that's one of my catchphrases, but it's not. It's like, Gabe Hoffman lying today, which we'll get into shortly, but I'm going to let the show get it. I'm going to do this segment first. We'll get into that shortly. But, you know, you're seeing fake news being created in real time. Now, did Ricada talk about this on air? Yeah. Could you say that's not good? You could. But you're not getting the full story. <laughs> you're not getting the full story. It's being framed as a Ricada reveal when that's not accurate. He wants the clout from burying Nick. Yeah, that's right. That's right. He wants the ass pats on Kiwi Farms. And it's funny how he's turned into this guy they all love and feel sorry for. When for the majority of the time of his posting on there, a lot of people will make fun of him. For, you know, trying to be thinking Nick was his friend and all this and stuff. And why are you talking to streamers and don't trust them and da 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 but that's exactly right, Shooting Star. He stepped out of the stands and onto the field. That's correct. Now, I do sympathize with the argument that, well, maybe Nick shouldn't have said this just because it just gives them more ammo and you know how they're going to frame it. And, yeah, I get that. I, co I totally get that. I do get that. And I, But <laughs> I get the other side of it, too. And I get it because I've lived it. And what these people don't seem to understand is we're actual people. <laughs> the streamers are actual people. Like, I don't know what to say. And you can only take so much in certain instances, and you have that release valve. So that's the context of this. This isn't some guy who was unknown, who Nick, you know, and I saw in these law fags, not Nick, he's not a law fag, but there are some of them out there. Um, this PPP size guy, we'll play his clip next. Or, or, you know, moral fagging over this, et cetera. It's like, well, that's not what actually happened. I mean, critique it from an honest place. Critique his drinking if you want to. Critique his, um, you know, you could say he's punching down. Uh, if you want to say that, although I don't really put much stock into that, you could say, you know, he's giving ammo to to people who don't like him. Um, you could even say that no matter what, he should never reveal that conversation, even though it already been revealed. <laughs> Which to me takes all that off the field, but whatever. At least that would be honest criticism. And maybe the big guy, not Biden, this fat lawyer dude, maybe he does that because I haven't seen the clip. But to act like this was a reveal 
or something that people didn't already know is false. That's incorrect. And that's one reason why we know who it is, because people immediately figured out who it was. How did they do that? Oh, because he'd already shared that story. <laughs> so, just think for a minute. How did they? How do? How do I know who that is? Well, because he had posted about it. They immediately flagged him as the guy. Do you see what I'm saying? So, it's a it's a dis dishonest framing, and it's being used to run Rakeda into the ground, which is what they want to do. And at one point when I was shooting with him, that's kind of how I felt too. But you know what? In the back of my head, I always liked Nick Ricada, even when I was going at him hard. And a lot of these avenues that they've went down, um, you know, trying to go at him, I had went down myself uh, and made money off of it and made shows off of it. And I regret that, honestly. I regret all that feud because it was pointless and it was a guy I already liked. And we had been friends for a while, and it was just dumb. And he's a reasonable person who, when I did reach out to him last year, April, I think, and I said, yeah, man, let's just bury this. This is tiresome, man. Like, why are we even fighting? He was like, yeah, you're right. I think the same thing. Let's just put it behind us. And that happened. And it was a very short conversation. And I'm hoping to get him on here. Now, look, I have my own. He's, he said he's going to come on. Now, I don't know because I haven't checked back in with him in quite, in, I don't know, five weeks maybe or longer. Um, because I had my own turmoil and I wanted to get my shit straight and wanted to get my shop set back up here. So that's not, it's been agreed to, but it has, we don't have a confirmation on that or anything like that. But, that's the, that's the type of guy he is. He didn't have to be that way. Anyway, that's my intro to this clip. Some of these Kiwi farmers, some of these commentators. Here we go. This and by the way, that's what the guy is. He's a commentator. They try to put themselves in a special class of untouchables. And it's like, well, if you post about a guy daily for years, particularly if you go into your personal relationship with the guy, you're not just some anonymous poster, you know, throwing a shit post out there. You've turned yourself into a commentator. And is he streaming? No, but it's the same thing. Written word is. Uh, what that doesn't count? Yeah, it does. It absolutely does count. Not only do I know them, do I know their failures? Do I know their social security checks? Do I know their inability to even contact their own family for help? Do I know their desire to leave their own state? Oh, man. Oh, man. I cannot fucking imagine being in the place that this man is. That he has to go to a YouTube streamer to beg, beg, beg for a shred of attention. Say, please, please, rackets. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, man. Begging is embarrassing. I love you. I have my family hates me. I can't get a job. I'm so mentally handicapped. Like I, I can't do anything. And my name is John. All I want to do, I want to die. I want to put a bullet in my mouth, but I can't afford a gun. Texting me this, by the way. I'm like, hey, holy shit, brother, you want to kill yourself? Like that's not good. No, I deserve. That's not good. That's correct. You have to die. Well, I mean, probably, but seriously, no, that's not good. <laughs> Can you buy an Uber and go to the hospital? No, I can't afford an Uber. Oh, he you has posted it. since all this happened. I just didn't see it. See, here's post from the guy today, 1130, 11, last night. Wow, he's posted a lot. I just didn't see it. 1030, 952, 723, 528, 152, 117. 1243, 1159, 1128, 228, 216, 201. These are all posts the guy made yesterday about Nick Ricada. 108. The last one there. 
So you can't see, you can't say this guy was shrinking from the spotlight when you're posting about a guy who helped you not kill yourself and you've posted about intimate details about your relations with that guy for years and you continue to post about him 20 times a day, well, you're not some fucking anon. You're not some fucking shit poster. You're trying to make yourself an authority on Nick Ricada, and you're trying to ruin the guy. That's the truth. Now, could you argue Nick maybe still shouldn't have done this? You could. I'm trying to be as fair as I can on this. Yeah, you could say that. But streamers are people too, like I said a few minutes ago. And I'm sure Nick has seen all this for years. And who knows what posts, you know, he might have saw that just finally, you know, set him off. He's had a few drinks too. That'll that'll do it as well. Who knows what that was? He's an A-log. That's right, Mr. Man. Yes. He decided to become an A-log. And, to re and my, my key point in this is he was already detailing in great detail his personal interactions with Nick Ricada. So when you've done that, you've lost the veil of secrecy. You've lost being, being deserving of any secrecy if somebody dec decides you no longer are. Nick Ricada is not obligated to keep this guy's secrets or to keep silent about what this guy told him when the guy himself hasn't kept silent about it and he's been going to Nick Ricada for years. Do you follow what I'm saying? I don't think it's that complicated. And I'm even being fair to the people who said who may say, well, he still shouldn't have done it. And putting those arguments out there too. From a fair point of view, though, with the context. I could see people still saying that. But you need to know just who the fuck this guy is, Captain Manning slash John. It's not just some random. It's not just some former viewer who stopped watching. It's not just some former Kiwi Farmer viewer who stopped watching. It's a former Kiwi Farmer viewer who stopped watching who then went on to detail his personal relationship with Nick Ricada on Kiwi Farms for years and tries to hold him out as himself out as some authority on Nick Ricada and makes upwards of 100 posts a week about this guy. That's the truth. That's John. Uber, like eight bucks. You can't afford one. Why? I'm on social security because we use some piece of shit. But I'm so successful. Oh man, that's fucking embarrassing. Man, that is embarrassing, right? I'm such a piece of shit. My family hates me. Now again, he's being he's being very harsh. There's no doubt about that. He's very harsh. But this guy's been very harsh to him. Extremely so. But with the narrative they're trying to craft, they don't want you to know that. Or they want you to forget about that. Nobody loves me. I'm just going to kill myself. You're messaging me. You're texting a fucking YouTuber. Holy. Oh, my God, man. That's embarrassing. Right, John? You're texting me. And I say, what? I'm like, holy shit. Please don't kill yourself. First of all, you can't afford the bullets. You've already expressed that. You can't afford the hardies that would kill you either. You're just you. You're just a useless pile of garbage. You can't afford an Uber to the hospital. <laughs> Again, he's being very harsh. I'm not going to I'm not going to say he's not. But I could go pull some of this guy's posts up and he's he's talking about Nick's family and all this other stuff. And you know, sometimes you read that shit and it gets to you. Now you can say maybe you shouldn't read it. That's true. But this is a formal per former personal connection out there saying all this shit. A connection that he only has because Riketa allowed him to have that connection. Right? He could have just said, no, nah, this is not my place. Here's the suicide hotline, and don't kill yourself, but I, I, we can't talk any further. I, I don't want to. 
leads you into believing, you know, I'm just a streamer and I got to keep a, a boundary here and, you know, I wish you the best. Here's a, here's a couple numbers you could call, but I can't get involved on that level. He could have absolutely done that and probably should have. But he didn't. He helped the guy instead. The guy had his fucking phone number. So that's the context. You're texting me, begging me, please. Oh, man, I'm spiraling. Don't kill me. Don't let me kill myself. I'm like, why? First of all, I can't control you from killing yourself. Only you can do that, brother. Have you tried calling 911? No, I can't spell. I'm Korean. Literally just 911. No. How far are you from the hospital? Four miles. Why don't you walk towards the hospital and then call 911 tell them where you're walking? Because you cannot do it. Oh, my God, man. This is embarrassing. You can't get to the hospital. Why don't you buy a limo or a private jet to the hospital like a normal middle-class person? They're like, oh, I can't make it to the middle class. I'm crippling disabilities and anxiety. I love you, though. Now, he's being sarcastic uh, throughout this. Taking some of the critiques they made about him. And working them in there for those who don't know, but I love you, the greatest streamer of all time. You're the fucking best streamer ever. Oh my god. I love you. Please teach me how to do life. Like, I can't teach you how to do life because you're retarded. But what I can teach you right now is that you probably shouldn't kill yourself. Only for my life, my evening, you know, and my wife and children in my normal middle class, upper middle class home with the real things. And I'm talking to a fucking retard, a literal goddamn by definition, suicidal retard. And all I'm trying to do in this entire world is save this person's life, save this person's life from the most dangerous person they have. Right, John, right, John, right, John. Were you walking to that hospital? No, you weren't. Were you, John? You were sitting in your shitty section eight apartment that you could not, fucking pay for it because you can't hold a job and you your relatives all told you you were an embarrassing reject and disowned you and all the only option your emergency contact at the fucking hospital john right john was a youtube streamer you paid to be your friend the youtube streamer you paid to be your friend now john what happens in most cases when you pay someone to be your friend and then you tell that person, right, John? Tell the person, holy shit, I, I'm going to end it all. What do they say? What does what the person you pay to be your friend say? Say, sorry, brother, I don't know how to help you. Or they say, hey, John, here's my personal phone number. I hate you're doing this, John. I hate that you're an embarrassing waste of a human his entire family has disowned him from his crippling mental disabilities who can't fucking walk to a hospital, who can't call a cab to a hospital, who has to call a YouTube streamer to cry and say, I'm not worth living. I don't know what to do. So when you pay now again, he's being extremely harsh, but you know, if one of you guys messaged me and you have, I, you know, I shoot the shit back and forth. If it got serious and it has before, I'll say, well, you know, let me know if I could anything I could do, but probably not, to be honest. But you want to talk it over, whatever. I've done that countless times. Now you don't have to do that, and maybe you shouldn't even do that. But I enjoy interacting with the audience. Good, you know, tough times and good times. But it's something that Rakeda didn't have to do. It was him being kind. He could have just said, "Look." I love that you support me, but I can't, you know, I got this life and this life and you gotta, I got to keep up. I got to keep a wall here. Chinese wall, <laughs> maybe a Korean wall. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that person like, Hey, uh, dude, please literally don't rap for yourself. Please don't do that. John, right? John, please don't do that as you. Go ahead. Austin a bear sent three dollars. Oh slash. Salute. We'll see if we can hit the fun tonight. If we do, maybe we'll watch a movie on Robot Streamer. We'll see if we can hit it.
We didn't quite get there yesterday. We did hit it my first day back. So uh, it's within the realm. It's within the realm. But, you know, I know i got a lot of work to do um, just on the show and with my sobriety and all that stuff. And, you know, I'm here to put in the work. So that's all, one day at a time. I think so. Begged, 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 begged me to save you because your family wouldn't save you because you were garbage. Because you couldn't save you because you're garbage. Because you don't have any friends to save you because you're garbage. Only person on earth you could reach out to, John, is one YouTube streamer that you pay $5 a month to. And if you're here for the Hoffman stuff, don't worry. Right after this, we're going into the Hoffman stuff. So my apologies, but it just flowed into what I was talking about. And I didn't know which, which one I was going to. So if you want the Hoffman stuff, don't worry. That's coming with both barrels. Um, but I, I just... It just made more sense to do this this segment first. You know what he said? Dude, please, for the love of Christ, just don't kill yourself. I know things are hard. How can I help you? Can I buy you a literal bus ticket to another state? Can I help you get back to your family? Would your family support you? You know what you said, John? They won't. They won't support me because I'm useless, because I'm horrible because i'm a piece of shit why would my family support me oh my god i can't even change my own diapers or whatever you are john right john right john you remember this conversation we literally said john if you do not start walking to that hospital and ask for some help i will call 911 because you are too incapable of saving your own life that you will call the only friend you have on this fucking earth when your family and friends have disowned you. And you're sitting there. And what, what, was, what was it? Was it New Mexico or Arizona? I don't remember. John, you tell me. You're sitting there in this uh, southwest state full of illegal immigrants. This state will save every person on earth except you because you're white, John. Because they expect you to save yourself. And you had no one to call except when someone paid five bucks a month to be your friend and then they did give you friendly advice all the time they talk to you right because you reached out so i'm I, i'm so embarrassed i'm so pathetic so i want to kill myself that i'm going to go to the clinic john i have to put nick ricada in minnesota I have to put nick ricada of minnesota is my emergency contact i'm still his fucking faggot's emergency contact still there here's why we're gonna go through this i talked this man off the ledge hours of time hours of time hey man please just don't kill yourself life is worth this life is worth this people like you little did i know that john oh my god would go uh so far down the road that his life was so worthless that no one on earth wanted him to not die other than a YouTuber who he paid five bucks a month who literally said, I, I'll, I'll give you your membership for free. I don't need you to give me $5 a month. Dude, take that five bucks and buy a goddamn cab and go to Maryland or whatever. Go ahead. Adol Wolf sent $10. Thank you. Zero, zero on Rumble. <laughs> Payday and I want to watch a movie. What would we watch? Still nursing this yeah, shoulder you know, back to 100%, but I ain't stopping the grind. Don't. Let's go. What is the... There was a movie, I can't... I think it's The Good, Bad, and The Ugly that we were going to watch if we hit it. Thank you for that. Um, So I've seen people comment on his appearance. First off, it looks like he lost a little bit of weight. A little bit skinnier than he used to be. Pictures from years ago, I mean, he's a human being, like I talked about earlier. You look different as the years go by. You don't look how you looked a couple years before. Just naturally. You get older. And it doesn't happen all at once. Because if it did, it'd scare the shit out of you. Aging is a process. And it's slow. If it just happened overnight one day, you'd freak the fuck out. And so it's very, um, you know, it's over a period of time. And so they'll show a picture of him from two, three years ago. And it's like, well, he's older, for one. For two, I, and I'm not criticizing his habits at all. Um, for me, I can't drink. I know that. 
Um, and I want to show that and prove that and do that. That's the decision that I made. But I wouldn't tell anybody else that. Um, so that's not what I'm saying here at all. But what I will say is the obvious. Uh, if you drink somewhat heavily or heavily or uh, more than... If you drink every day or near every day, uh, it's going to age you more than if you didn't drink. It's going to change your color of your hair, like I mentioned. Uh, you're going to look older. Um, that's just how alcohol works. So, and it can make you look disheveled at times, especially if you're in the middle of a drinking session. Um, it doesn't take, and I saw somebody yesterday, what else is he on? I mean, first off, I don't know. I haven't talked to him about any of this. Um, and I don't think he's on anything else. Oh, my God. But whatever. I, I do know that alcohol... I mean, it can make you look disheveled. It can make you look older. And that's if you just drink. You know, That's not even saying it's a problem. I'm saying if you drink regularly and you still got a good life and you still got everything in control, it's still going to age you. Like it just That's just what alcohol does. So uh, that's my view on it. And does he look different? Yeah, he does. He does look a little bit different for sure. Um and I look different, too. I look older. Somebody said they saw a clip of me in 2021, and what happened? Da, 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 da. Well, I said, first off, I said, first off, hold on. I'm 100 pounds lighter. I mean, give me a little fucking credit. Be like, you're so bubbly and happy. What happened? I said, well, women, for one, happened. <laughs> women would be would be on that list. That That definitely had something to do with it. And then alcohol, copious amounts. <laughs> and... That was me making a joke, but also being serious. <laughs> uh, and, you know, other stuff I shouldn't have done. But really, alcohol just ages you. So, and aging ages you. <laughs> so, Sam posted a picture from, you know, years ago next to him. Now, I was like, well, I mean, he ain't going to look the same. I don't know. That's kind of my take on it. Um, he looked better last night. I saw him. He did up, end up having a drink. I didn't watch the whole stream. I don't know if you, you know, got sloshed or whatever. But I used to come out here and get drunk every day. Like, I don't, that would, I wouldn't critique him on that level anyway. And by the way, uh, you know, the golden age, one of the golden ages of the show, I was drunk every single night pretty much. And nobody gave a fuck. Because I didn't really have too many personal scandals. I didn't really have too many you know, a logs and all this black PR every single fucking day. You know, I didn't have former connections out there leaking shit, true and false and saying all this bullshit every single fucking day. So nobody gave a fuck. Nobody cares if you drink. <laughs> but when it becomes, uh, you know, hip to hate on somebody, then they start caring all of a sudden. Then they start caring all of a sudden. And then you have the people who care because they just want to see you get better. And I really do sympathize with that uh, and appreciate that, honestly. But I don't know. I'm just saying. The people never give a fuck until they're told to give a fuck. Down that road. Just so, that, so that's my view on it. And, you know, does he look a little bit different? Yeah. But, um, you know. That's life. That's what happened. Just do this one thing to not fucking noose yourself like Emmett Till if he was self-hating and white. And yet, and yet, I walk this man to hold his dick through the night. Please don't die. Please just recognize that there's life. The internet? Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, I don't know if guys understand. <laughs> This job is a blessing, and Nick has said this himself. It's a blessing. But there's a little bit of a curse there, too. First off, you have to stay on it all the time. Second off, you got to deal with shit normal people don't have to deal with. Of course, they have to deal with shit you don't have to deal with, too. But, like, you know, people out there, and you got to blame yourself, you know, because there's good and there's bad, and you, you knew that getting in. 
But when it turns into a feeding frenzy and it's every day, for years in my case, for at least a year in his case, the shit is stressful. The shit is like, it's not all sunshine. <laughs> well, why is this guy, why is this guy so stressed out? Why is he, why is he having an extra drink while they type 3,000 negative comments about him per day? You know what I mean? Right? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's the mob trying to chase him into the fucking grave every single day. <laughs> Maybe that's a stressor. Have you ever considered that? <laughs> I don't know. This massive hate mob that's out there against him every single day, maybe that's causing him to be stressed. Maybe he's drinking a little bit more than he used to because of that. Does that... <laughs> I don't know. And I don't know that he's drinking more than he used to. I'm just saying. That's what they're saying. So... I don't know. It's just kind of rich sometimes when I read these comments. It's like, well, you're part of this massive hate mob against the guy. I mean, don't you understand why he might be a little <laughs> worn down? Uh, that's what you guys want, right? Like, isn't that wasn't that the goal to try to wear him down, get him stressed? And it is stressful. So, no, I don't think so, Austin. Abstinence is gay as fuck. Complete abstinence. From sex, maybe. I don't. <laughs> but um, from alcohol? No, I don't think that's gay at all. Um, I can't do it any other way. I know plenty of other people can't either. So if you can manage, uh, you know, drinking every once in a while or, you know, just having one or two every once in a while, yeah, more power to you, but... That's just not really for me. And anytime I try to tell myself otherwise, it's just complete uh, disaster. And honestly, it's just not even worth it. So. You already tested so many times and failed the test. But what are you actually even testing for? You know what I mean? Like you're you're getting a little buzz off alcohol. You're getting drunk off, off alcohol. And it's nice, but is it really that nice? It's not really. <laughs> I know it might sound funny coming from me, but it's really not that nice to destroy everything in your life. Well, no, in my case. <laughs> Insane Hermit says they literally want to kill you, Ralph. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they actually do. But they talk about Ricada the same way. And in certain ways, it's even wilder. Because they just got the hate mob full speed on him. Now, with me, it's been like that for years. So it's just like an uh, accepted fact, but it's it's like that with him. Um, I don't know, in a way, maybe even deeper for, for certain people with me. I don't know, but they're tur they're trying to turn it into that with him. And go read some of those comments after this video. And they're like, "Well, I don't feel sorry for him. I hope he dies, and he'd be better off dead." I couldn't tell you how many comments I read that his family'd be better off if he was dead. It's like, you don't even fucking know this guy. He's a streamer. You know what he's told you, but you don't see him off camera. You don't know what he's going through. You don't know what it's like to do this job either. And that's not a pity party. That's not a poor me. That's just a reality. <laughs> you don't know what it's like. And there's a lot of great things, a lot of awesome things I've been able to do. But there's been a lot of downsides to it, too. And, you know, I, I would say it's not for most. <laughs> I would say it's probably not for most. And they always want to take the, the holier-than-thou position. And it's because, you know, you're out here. You put yourself out here. And you're doing your streams. And you're in, in the public eye, quote-unquote, or whatever. The Internet's eye. And, you know... That's what happens. I can't. It's natural. They either love you or they hate you, or there's some that love you and some that hate you, and that's how it goes. Uh, and when one of these hate storms comes around, you just got to ride it out or quit. That's the only two options. You, you, you go through it, you see hell, and you walk through it, or you go away. 
Those are the only two things you can do. What does he do? Right, John? Right, John? You bear sink piece of shit. Yeah, Rack, well, I never not- said that, Mickey. That's true. Uh, but you don't you have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Everybody has lots of struggles. Many of many tends to mean comments. You have no clue. That's said from just a complete place of ignorance. Do you do you understand? Um that they've defiled the memory of my mother, my father, my brother who's still alive, attacked my uncle, went through photos of my grandparents and came to my house and multiple times. So just shut the fuck up. You sound like a moron. It's not just that in my case. I've had people vandalize my property, vandalize my car. Yeah, you really don't know what the fuck you're talking about. In my case. So, and it's not feel sorry for me. I chose to do this, but like people don't take into account, especially when it's really riled up like this against you or against him. People don't really take into account. And what the second comment you made is kind of true though. Okay. See ya. Well, I was about to give you credit for your second comment. See, he's so sensitive. He can say something like that, and then I respond. And he's like, oh, wow, keep burning bridges. I'm not burning bridges. I'm saying your comment's retarded. I don't have to take his coat. It's just stupid. The second comment was actually kind of true. The streaming game is now a deal with the devil. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. But the first comment, everybody has lots of struggles. That's true. Many much more intense than mean comments. Well, that's true, too. But he's got to go through, he's still got struggles in life as well. Does that not make sense? Right? Like, he's still got other stuff off camera going on. I don't know what that is, but, like, I'm sure there are shit go- there's shit going on. I don't know, I just feel like, and you see him, he just gets upset with any type of pushback on his comment. Because I called it retarded. I said he doesn't know know what he's talking about because he doesn't. Now, his second comment was kind of true. It is kind of a deal with the devil in certain ways. But the first one is just dismissive and like, oh, well, you know, we got it harder and da-da-da. In certain ways, yes. certain ways, no. I'm not wrong. I don't know what to tell you. You want me to lie? (laughs) And that goes even for people I don't like. It goes for everybody who's doing this. Like, I don't know. And congrats to Shooting Stars. Uh, Zero alcohol for me for over a year. Damn, that's that's something there. And Austin says, wow, okay. Says, I've been completely sober for two and a half years. It's whack. I smoke tobacco, though. Yeah, I wish I'd gotten some cigarettes now. But you see, it's, it's funny because they're allowed to say anything. They whine and chat. And some people take it really personally if you pick out their comment. I'm like, no, nah, it's bullshit. And I wasn't trying to. It's funny how serious they take it. <laughs> then he said, you take everything so personally. Well, no, not really. I'm just saying you're wrong. <sighs> Is that out of bounds? Not what I thought he was. He's just not this, that, that. John. Are you judging people, John? The the guy that his entire family disowned him. His entire, the entire sector of employment of the United States disowned him. And the U.S. government was so embarrassed by him that they didn't give him enough money to eat. And he was so embarrassed by himself that when he looked at all the money he had in the world, it was, I could eat. One more, one more McDouble and French fries, or I could pay a Minnesota lawyer drunk to be my friend. And when he was the friend, I thought, why would this man save me from death? Death at my own pathetic hands. And John, look, I got it. You were probably going to try to commit suicide. 
like a woman because you could never succeed at committing suicide because that would make you a man. You couldn't have a job. You couldn't have a family. You couldn't even fucking be in basic society without the government's help. So we know being a man was tough for you, right, John? We know that was embarrassing for you. So while you're crying to me in the fucking- now Again, he goes very, he, it's very personal. But, you know, already established at the beginning of this segment, that guy has been going at it for years. Now you could still say it's uncalled for or he shouldn't have done it or whatever. That's, you know, I take that on board, but like, just be honest with what's, what this guy is, though. It's not just some rando. I don't know. Some of the chat may disagree with me. That's fine. And Mickey's clearly on that hate Ricardo shit and hate me shit, too. And that ain't the first comment I've seen from him. That's why I called it out. <laughs> um, and he's right and he's wrong. Like, yeah, people do have bigger problems than, you know, just randoms or former friends talking shit about them on the internet. That's true. That's accurate. But also, you really don't know when the hate mob really gets going and they're saying all this shit about your family and maybe even doing shit to you in real life. That's a whole different ball game. That's a, that's a different ball game. And I'm quite sure, Mickey, that you wouldn't want to handle that. And most sane people would not. <laughs> that's not a critique of you personally. Your comment I said was idiotic. <laughs> because you're not thinking. Most people couldn't handle it. And I remain convinced of that. <laughs> when the hate mob crank, cranks up to 11 and it's time to take them out, most people couldn't handle that or they would go away and quit. And I can't say that, that I would blame them, but I'm just being honest. If you have no heart for the fight, if you have no just almost insane um, just will to power through it and to still go out there and try to create and try to have guests and, you know, make something that somebody would want to hear or watch. You know, it takes that. It takes that. And it'll take that out of him, too, because they're, I said this the other day, they're coming for him. And they're coming to ruin him. And it's very clear, and I've seen it before many times. They're coming to ruin his life. That's the goal. It couldn't be stated simpler than that. And they're doing it to me and have done it to me consistently for years. And they want to go after Dick Masterson. They want to go after Mersh. They want to go after Steel Toe. They want to go after Ethan Van Skyver now. And it won't stop until you defeat it. They won't stop until you win. It won't stop otherwise. Now, are there things you can do to not give people ammo and stuff? And, you know, that's kind of what I was talking about the other day. I, you know, I, I, the drinking is causing problems in my life. And, you know, it's just not healthy. I'm just too old. And I'm better when I'm not drunk as well at my job. But also, being sober cuts out, you know, a large part of their attack. Losing 100 pounds. Of course, they still lie about my weight, but whatever. That cuts down on their attack. Like, I mean, there are things you can do to try to, you know, mitigate, right? Like, you know, when I went on that bender last month, you know, I knew what I was doing, but I just didn't care. Like, I just said, fuck it, whatever. Now, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it gave him a lot of ammunition. But I did it anyway. So, you know, there are things you can do, but everybody just named they want to destroy completely. And 
you know, people say, it's, well, it's just the internet, you know, da, 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 which is true. But, you know, this is my job. <laughs> it's Nick Ricada's job. It's Dick Masterson's job. It's, it's, it's Mercer's job, et cetera. Like, they want those people gone. And I know me and the people I mentioned have went after people too. And so that might make it a little harder um, to be sympathetic. Uh, but even in my harshest rhetoric, I mean, this is an entertainment program. Um, you know, you see on a certain show, they absolutely want me dead. And there's people I've said, you know, die, whatever. But it's in the context of just talking shit, honestly. <laughs> it's not shit talking when they say it. Like, they're serious and somber when they're talking about it. You know, I'm cutting a promo, just going off, whatever. Like, I don't... It's not really meant to be... <laughs> I don't know. It's like my comment there to Mickey. It's like, you taking it... He told me I was taking it personally while he said, I'm leaving. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, who took it personally here? You took it personally. <laughs> right? Like... Who's the one who really took it personally here? Was it me or him? And he was typing free willing in chat. And he's made several comments over the past week. Not enough to like, not where I'd say, oh, you got to get out of here, but like a mm, little bit of head scratching. And maybe he just doesn't like Rakeda. I don't know. And that's fine. There's some people here now who don't like him. I don't. That's fine. But who really took it personally in that scenario? <laughs> me, who was actually giving him credit on certain parts of his comment and was about to, I still did it after he left, but. Was it me? He got offended because I called his comment idiotic. That's what happened. Well, I'm leaving. Okay, well, who took it personally then? You weren't banned. I didn't. <laughs> You're the one who took it personally. <laughs> I don't know. I hate to call him out again, but it's just a perfect example of what I'm saying. <laughs> so... Anyway, that's that's my view, and I know because I know immediately somebody said, "Well, Ralph said this, Ralph said that, Ralph did this, Ralph did that." Ralph ain't never did the shit y'all did. I'm a shit talker online. I cut promos. I've talked about doing wild shit, sure, but I never did any of that shit. It's within the context of me cutting a promo, really. Like I don't know what to say. Phone, trying to hang out with my wife and kids and going with life you're crying to me on the fucking phone i'm gonna kill myself my whole family hates me no men in my life no women in my life nothing in my life just you like john dude it's not that bad please go to a fucking hospital i can't afford a hospital john you can't afford a fucking taco bell burrito right you can't do that go to a hospital they will help you insurance or the state assistance whatever we got it they will pay for you to get this help because they want you to live you know like they want somalis to live but they literally want you to live too you're like oh, oh, God. oh please and like john if you don't start walking that fucking hospital right now call me i will call a 911 wellness check on you and i'll get an ambulance to you to bring you there don't want you to kill john i don't care about the five dollars i care about please don't kill yourself at least be killed by a black uh. just walk to the hospital you useless piece of shit all you have to do on earth is get up here's the, here's how you not suicide guys let me get some fucking advice to you you know you not suicide instead of putting the gun in your mouth you just set it down you stand your fat ass up and you start walking towards the clinic that's it it's literally the only thing you need to do. I'm like, John. He's like, ah, I'm going to kill myself. I'm like, John. I mean, it's funny. I don't know what to say, right? Like, you just see all these pearl clutchers on Kiwi Farms and elsewhere in the comments, and they're just like, how dare you? How dare you say these things? Da -da 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 -da. When they say the same shit about me. And the same shit about him. Why don't you kill yourself? You'd be better off dead. And da da da. Make these elaborate fucking fantasies about me killing myself or him killing himself or whatever. And they do it every single day. 
But God forbid one of them gets called out. God forbid one of them gets dragged out into the circle and whipped. That's why they don't like it. That's why they try to misframe it. Because it's one of them getting dragged by the collar and whipped out in front of the public. Oh, they love it when it's you. They love it when it's Nick Ricada. They love it when it's Merch, whoever they're trying to fuck with that week or that day. Oh, they love that shit. But when it's one of them, one of their fellow retards dragged out into the fucking street, stripped naked and just whipped, they don't like that. Because they know deep down that's exactly what should happen to every single one of them. Not in the literal sense. But if they caught even a fraction of the shit we catch on a daily basis, they'd be out of here. They'd be deleting accounts and coming back with new ones and all this shit. It's just the truth. And I can't say that I blame them, by the way. Not many sane people. There's something in you, almost something wrong with you, to do this job. I've said that before. And I stand by it. A lot of blessings. A lot of awesomeness. A lot of great things. But there's a lot of crazy things too. And most people wouldn't want to do it. They would want to just do something regular, off the radar, regular job. And there's been some days where I was like, man, I wish I had done something like that. People talk about, I mean, it is great. It is awesome. I've gotten to see the world and talk to so many cool people. But there's been some days where I was like, man, <laughs> this shit wasn't worth it. I don't feel like that today. But, you know, there are days where it's like, man, what the fuck is this even? Like, what? <laughs> and not a single one of these posters can handle it. And it's true that, well, they're not doing it, right? They didn't, they did, they're not out here streaming, face fagging, whatever you want to call it. Okay, fair enough. But one of their own gets dragged after years. At all, Wolf sent one dollar. Zero zero on Rumble. Ralph, you don't know the rules. Yeah. You are not supposed to fight back. Just lay there and take it. LOL. Well, you know it's in. Um, to me, it's completely within bounds for him to do this to this guy. The guy had been detailing their personal interactions for years on Kiwi Farms and even told this story before from a different, he put it in a different way. Talked about how he had Ricada's number and could hit him up anytime and all this stuff. And he did that to try to give himself authority, to try to be a voice of authority on Nick Ricada, posting about him 20 times a day. That's not normal. That is not normal, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to say. If you're on the internet posting about somebody 20 times in a single day, good or bad, that ain't that ain't right. That's something's off there. Something's off in your fucking brain. And you can say, well, that's just what I do for fun. Okay, well, it's fun to see you get stripped, rhetorically stripped and beaten in the street then. All right, well, you sign up for it then. <laughs> you're not just a part of the crowd. You don't have a right to to do that and not get a response. Now, by this by the same on the same token on the other side of the coin, I could understand people who say, well, you shouldn't have done this just from the simple like, well, you're giving them more ammo. You know how they're gonna portray it, you know what they're gonna do. Now, in that regard, I understand and could say, Well, yeah, I can under, I can agree with that too. Maybe you shouldn't have. Maybe you shouldn't have. But there's been times when I've, you know, done that to somebody, you know, and I saw how it was portrayed. So I've done the same thing. I'm completely sympathetic to, you know, you, you see something for so long and then you go off. And then it, it's put on like, well, you just guys crazy, you know. I, <laughs> what a piece of shit. People say they'll kill themselves, never do, they're assholes. Yeah, I would say in most cases that's true. Um... But sometimes it's not. <laughs> um, I would say in most cases it's true, yeah. That's true. Um, not always. Maybe they're just trying to work up the courage. Um, 
I would say, um, I would say mostly that's correct though. Yeah. Those who talk about killing themselves mostly do not. Usually you would want to look out for like a stray joke about it, maybe, or a stray, like just more dark commentary. Um, I think that that would be uh, more what you want to look for uh, other than just absolute threat. Now they may not be lying. They may feel like killing themselves. Um, but usually they don't. Yeah, I would say that that's, that's mostly true. Then he said, I saw a guy jump off a bridge once. He wasn't fucking about straight over like Superman. <laughs> he had his mind made up. God, you can't afford a gun. You can't kill yourself. What you can do? Buy a Caesar salad from McDonald's and die that way? Well, like, I mean, you could still kill yourself. I won't go into it, but there's plenty of other ways. But I don't even like Caesar. I'm like, unless he's in your ass. I got it. I love Caesar salad. Holy shit. John, you couldn't buy a gun. Wanted to kill himself. He couldn't buy medications to kill himself. What's he going to do? Steal a bottle of Tylenol from a Somali? No, he's not. He's a bitch. He can't do any of this stuff. Doesn't have the resources to kill himself. I'm like, John, you don't have to do that. You just get up and walk to the hospital. You call the hospital and say, hey, here's where I am. Here's what I see. Can you come pick me up? I'm, I'm having, I'm going to kill myself if I don't get some help. The idea is they go and talk to some counselors, some therapists. And I've tried to find his post where he talked about this, but it's so fucking, <sighs> he has so many posts. I don't know. It's probably beyond my capability to find it. Um, while we're here on the air, but I'll keep looking. I mean, he's got, can I see how many posts he's got again? And he posted my shit too. Um, let me see. What's his post count again? N over 9,000. Posts on Kiwi Farm. <clears throat> Ogilvy says, I actually had to go to the inquest. His wife gave a statement that he thought he was going to be World War Three. Thought it was going to be World War Three. This was 10 years ago, and it hasn't started yet. Well, and maybe we'll get to see it if it keeps going. Or whatever. They identify their problems. They're like, hi, John. Why can you not in any way sustain any employment? Like, well, because I can't stop masturbating. I thought of children. Holy shit. I can't stop masturbating in public. Look, John, that's fucking gross. Like, why can you not do that? He's like, because I'm disabled. You're not disabled. That's not disabled, John. Uh, disabled is you can't walk. Fucked up is you can't stop doing what you do. Way different. So they're sitting there like, we want to employ this guy. He's got a good recommendation. He's got all this stuff. By the way, we're doing the Hoffman can't. stuff next. I'm sorry I started with this. I probably should have put this second now I think about it. But I don't know. I thought about it a lot last night while I was watching. And I, I'm trying to be, and no, gang new age. Um, but I'm trying to look at it from all sides. Obviously, you know, I have my take and I'm on Mercator's side. But also just trying to be fair on the issue, like I could see somebody saying, well, he shouldn't have done that. Um, but framing it the way it's been framed, that's just not accurate. And because even when he applies for a garbage man, all we can think of is, will he fuck the garbage? Will we feel bad about it? The answer to both those questions is obviously yes. This guy is begging me to save his life me because you know why his dad won't do it his mom won't do it his girlfriend won't do it his ex-girlfriend won't do it i don't know if he has a girlfriend or an ex-girlfriend his boyfriend or ex-boyfriend that he met at super america or whatever they won't do it siblings won't do it the state won't do it teachers won't do it priests won't do it nobody nobody on earth would save this guy's life including himself but he calls youtuber the YouTuber spends a bunch of time saying, hey, man, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I know life sucks right now. I know it's hard to connect with your family. I know you're fucking disconnected. I know you. it's an insurmountable amount of money for you because you don't make any money. Can I help you? How do I get you connected to your family? Like, ah, 
what is it? What is what is it? A thousand dollar bus ticket? Literally offered to buy this guy a bus ticket to the family that disowned him. Dude, it's insurmountable for you. But right now, not for me. How can I help you? What can I do? Can you do anything? Everybody hates me. Like, I get it. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, the bingo guy hates you too because you're can't count. Everybody hates me. Okay, okay, okay. How do I help you? Just help me live through the night. All right, here's a simple answer. You don't have any friends, which means you also don't have any enemies. No one's coming to kill you. The only person who can kill you is you. How about you just not kill yourself and instead go to a hospital? So again, motherfucker walks to a hospital. On my recommendation, I'm like demanding, send me pictures of what you see. So I know when you see the hospital, I want you to see the sign. I want you to do all these things. I want to make sure you live through the night. Because literally, if you were a cat woman with 50 cats, and you laid down in your state, they would fucking shit in your mouth till you had toxoplasmosis. And then we'd eat your skin. That's how embarrassing you were, gentlemen. Text me. Show me that you're getting there. Call a fucking ambulance. Finally gets to the hospital. He doesn't die. Doesn't kill himself. You know what he doesn't say? Wait, so Josh leaked Vito's script for his comic? Is that true? That's fucking pathetic. Did they? I don't know if they have the whole thing or not. He'll be here on Wednesday. Oh, they got him with the Google Doc and it was an open link doc. Yeah. That could happen. I just saw that on Twitter. Goes on the Kiwi Farms. Tells them what a piece of shit I am. Holy shit. I have faith in this guy. I trusted this guy. I have faith. This is the guy. This is Captain Manning. This guy. He's such a garbage person. The things he believes aren't true at all. And yet, he asked me to save his life. You know what he never asked me? Hey, man, are these things true? Well, no. No. Vito's comment that was supposed to come out months ago. I mean, that happens with all these fucking crowdfunded things. I mean, don't do a crowdfund. Don't don't put your money on a... <laughs> I mean, you know that probably was going to happen, but you're right. Dick's been ripping him, too. I mean, you're right. But when I hear that talking point, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> are, are, aren't almost all these type of projects, like, delayed somehow? But, yeah, you're, it's true that it was supposed to already be out. That is true. But, you know, I've seen so many of them delayed. Now, if he never puts it out or if it goes on, you know, past a certain point, yeah, I can understand that. But, you know, the artist has to finish, and I don't know. I'm sympathetic to that. You save a person. Best 170. This, did is, you actually, this is. Yeah, did you actually put in on it? Quintessentially, Kiwi Farms, wrapped up for all of you. Is a person. Ahead. At all wolf sent one dollar. Zero zero on Rumble. Josh is an idiot. It's only going to make Vito more money. Well, yeah, in a he blew ways, it, bud. It's just more. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. His family has disowned them. We'll never have a significant other. Hey, smoke. Whose government has disowned them? Whose employee? Did you hear him meow? Hey, smoke. What are you doing, buddy? Let me let you out. Oh, wait. Yeah. Not this one. Lawyers have disowned them. Hey, bud. They sit on some internet all day watching some person begging them to save their life. And when they do, they're appreciative for a moment until that person stops paying attention to them. And suddenly, you talk to them? well, they're eating 22 LRs all day. And you go, no, no, you can't. I try to save you by just John. Why do you always want to say he always wants to sit on my desk? I guess just to be closer to me. All right, if you stay there, maybe, maybe I can move my mouse. I'm not smoking today, so he wants to sit right in front of me. 
That's just a cat thing, I guess. Okay. I'll let you stay here for a minute. You into a person who can interact with a fucking cashier at Walmart. Instead, you can't interact with a cashier at Walmart. Not because they but speak see, fucking to, kamoob. Then he wants to put his head right where I'm doing the mouse and like up against me. It's like, well, I need the mouse. I can't. <laughs> Maybe he wants the mouse. Maybe that's what it is. He is a cat. <laughs> Dizzle P says, I think it's a funny segment from Nick. Honestly, like you said, he decided to step out on the field, get ready to play then, John. Yeah, that's that's my view on it. Um, I do think it's kind of funny, yeah. And have lived in a Kenyan refugee camp for three years. But rather because you haven't lived anywhere for three years because you can't afford it, not mentally sound, not mentally stable, and every day that you're alone, you try to shove a dick so far in your mouth that you choke to death on it. And then you blame me for whatever your perception is. Go get him, John. I'm sure your story is compelling. Have fun with that. Always remember who the critics of you are. Because the critics of you are generally embarrassing <laughs> true and you find this out this is the thing you don't realize as a non-streamer a non-professional online person the people who reach out to you as a normal person are normal people the people who reach out to you as a professional need professional help often they'll beg you to do the thing I ask you please 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 save my life and you're like a dude i can't save your life I can't do anything. I can barely go to a grocery store. Please save my life. And so you try. And you work it out. And then they're like, oh, no, this is good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a chance he's talking about Cog? I mean, yeah, maybe. Maybe maybe the whole Captain Manning. Uh, by the way, I'm joking. It's Captain Manning. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Could be. <laughs> they offer the fucking. Could that world. be Cog? I don't know. All of the uh, Vaz deference licking they can get. Please thank you, thank you. Oh my god. Like this really wasn't that expensive of whiskey, but okay. They'll do that. And then when it's gone and they can't have another sip, they go, Motherfucker, you betrayed me. You betrayed me. You're like, I didn't betray shit. Like I just offered you a nice thing. Took it or you didn't took it. We'll always frame it as betrayal. You know why? Your failure stems from their inability to take accountability for who they are their demand to blame everybody else so of course they're not going to start blaming themselves when you call them out i hope you have a good day john i've, I've always meant this sincerely i hope you there's not much left on this i hope you find peace you have solace you find support you find a community that will build you up it's my community, great. If it's any other community, great. By the way, I saw a hater talking about the, the stream title. Um, and they're like, oh, it's clickbaiting to make people think Rikada's actually on the show today. Did anybody think Rikada was on the show today or that I wouldn't just have like a single title about Rikada if he was coming back today? Uh, or that it wouldn't at least be first in the order of topics if Rikada was actually returning today? <laughs> Does anybody not think that it would that I would make a much bigger deal? about it if Rikada was going to actually be on the show today. I mean, you ha you'd have to be pretty low IQ to not get that, but I mean, he returned to his own shit. Yeah, I was about to say, nobody thought that. I don't. I saw that and I was like, what? I wouldn't have even considered. I thought it was obvious that it was about him coming back on his own. Yeah, don't you think that would have been the number one topic, not Gabe fucking Hoffman? And Andy Worski, and that actually that would have been all that would be in the title on a show like that. It would just be you know, Nick Ricardo live, most likely, or something like that. Sometimes for a, a big return or big something like that, it would just be like a one topic title, even though I would cover a bunch of other stuff. If you watch the show for a while, you know that, but <laughs> it's just a big reach. I'll tell you, one person did think that. 
Well, it would be the number one topic if it was. Sometimes I put the guests on the plus side too. I don't have new New Age Messiahs calling in tonight. I didn't put it up there. Um, honestly, because I forgot when I was making the thing, I would have put New Age probably instead of Finally Friday. But also, I don't think you guys know him that well. No offense to him, I'm not taking a shot. I just. So, John, why do we come clean to the Kiwi farmers? But how pathetic your life is. We judge everybody else's. So pathetic, John. You had to pay $5 a month. I don't know how many blowjobs you gave or mashed potato cups you exchanged to get five bucks. You had to pay $5 a month to the ability to message me. Instead of just saying, thank you for paying $5 a month. This is where came law. Engage in your interaction or whatever. I just said, hey, I heard about what you're going through. Like, if you need any help, let me know because I don't want you to die. Right, John? Never wanted you to die. The one person on this earth who never wanted you to die. But you know what you did, John? You engaged in lies specifically. You know why? Because you couldn't afford friends. So you had to buy them with fake clout. I don't know what South State you're in, Southwest State you're in anymore, John. I just know you're still there because you can't afford even a taxi cab to the grocery store. And yet here you are. Moral condemnation on other people based on falsehoods, but also based in part, according to you, on your moral and ethical and personal well, superiority to those people. Well, you couldn't keep a family, couldn't keep a job, couldn't keep a government check, could not keep yourself from putting a gun that you couldn't afford with bullets that you borrowed in your mouth until a streamer told you, hey, John, maybe you should just go to the hospital. And what you did in response, John, is take the person who saved your life, demanded you to save your own life, to say all of the lies about that person without ever even having the decency to say, hey, is this true or not? That's what you did. You traded someone who saved your life or internet clout from Kiwis are probably just like you. Just like you because they cannot do anything. But enjoy the company, John. One person kept you from eating a bullet you would have had to borrow from a homeless. <laughs> One group of people would have laughed when you died if they found out. Cheers for picking the rights out on that one. <laughs> and I can see being bitter over that if I'm Rakeda. Right? I mean, is he telling any lies? Not really. Not that I heard. And you know what it is over there. And he's absolutely right. And they roasted that guy hundreds, thousands of times. Oh, now he's... You know, the hero, Captain Manning. They absolutely would have laughed about it. Now, take John's story and apply it to the majority of Kiwis. to figure out why nobody cares what they think. I hope you have a nice night. I hope there are no Johns in your life who demand you to save them from the fucking world that they can't navigate and then ask a fucking can of beans to kill them just for acceptance. My John. cat is rolling over onto his belly. What are you doing? You don't care that I'm working at all, do you? He's doing a lot better, by the way. His fur's been growing back as far as I can tell. You're licking my hand now? Good boy. Good boy. Ow. He doesn't meow that much unless he's trying to get my attention. Good boy. I'm going to have to let you out, though. Let me put him out. Come on. You're getting too relaxed. You're going to roll off the table, too. You won't like that. Come on. John, that's embarrassing. But go be British. Cheers to you all. 
Cheers to John specifically. Cheers to the Kiwi Farms. Cheers to Josh Moon. I'll let Most him back autistic in. Autistic person on earth. I'll let him back in here in a little while. Just... Zero human interactive experience. I've end. been letting him stay in the studio more because one of the things the vet said was you need to spend more time with him. And I said, yeah, you're right. I just get in the zone in here or, you know, bullshit. And there's no reason he can't be in here anyway. So he should just be in here if I'm working, if he wants to be. Everybody on earth, how humans interact. Piss people off. Most importantly, pissing John off in your life so much that he wants to take a discount razor that he can't afford and chop it to his wrist because the government gave him a Section 8 razor. He's like, ah, I'm going to kill myself. I'm like, you, John, this is how fucking pathetic you are. All you had to do today was suck dick for 20 bucks anywhere in a metro area. You couldn't do that. Instead, you went out to a rural area, got down on your knees, and you couldn't raise, raise $2. You know why? Because your lips look like mine, and mine are manly. <laughs> it's the weird shit that goes on. The internet is the weirdest fucking place. Normal life, all day. Yeah, he was about to roll off the table. That's why I was like, all right, you're getting a little too comfy. I'll let him back in shortly. Sometimes he wants to go out there and eat and stuff, too. I'll give him a little break. Every day. And then the, someone's like, oh, my God, did you see what Ragan said? People are like, what are you saying? Like, you just go watch the stream. It's not there. Anyway, as for your professional opinion, I don't want to kill myself, but I want myself to be punished. What is the appropriate That's punishment so for 60% liquor on a lonely, lonely night where my favorite f***ing John is still, in my mind, walking down the road to the hospital because basically like watching Stephen Hawking walk. If you ever watched Stephen Hawking walk, it was really simple. He didn't. Best part. All of the chats like, this John guy's fucking weird. Um, what was that about? Hey, John. I know you'll watch it. I know you will. And I know you'll sit there and go, I literally begged a YouTube streamer to save my life because I couldn't end my own. John, buddy, you could have just hired an eight-year-old to kill you. <laughs> but you didn't. You know why? You couldn't afford the eight-year-old. John, get help, brother. Not for me. It was never for me. I, was, I told you, I, I can't save you. I can't say if you're like the only friend I have. Like, I literally cannot make your life better. You're the only friend I have. I'm not your friend, John. I never was. But you do pay me five bucks a month. That's nice. I can't afford five bucks a month. Well, you're gonna. Because I want you to know, John, fake love don't last. You're an embarrassment to yourself and humanity, John. All you had to do was look at yourself in the mirror and see what every other masculine man sees. Look at yourself in the other and go, fuck. I'm way hotter than I thought, and I'm still fucking embarrassingly ugly, and then you walk away. John couldn't even do that. You know why? We'll figure it out. Okay, here we go. I cannot believe. You cannot believe the guy, by the way, who says, I'm going to kill myself unless my favorite YouTuber messages me after seeing the thing and then goes on to tell you about how well-adjusted they are, how unadjusted the YouTuber is. The best part is the only person who will know this is true. It's just John. Hey, John, live in your own shame. Now, there's the clip. Um, and this is, I guess... This other lawyer guy. Um, I was like, Nico says, what if I'm a moron on a web forum and I'm considering Sudoku, should a lawyer or a moral man spill the beans on that? No. No. People come to you and, you know, with some of the darkest things that they're dealing with, whatever way. I mean, people come to me generally, they're having a bad day. That's not, that's not for the world to know. It's not for clicks, not for clout. It's not for farming content. You know, if you can't be a keeper of secrets, 
I mean, I don't know what good you are, but you certainly shouldn't be doing this. Uh, J Rock says, whether or not, lawyer or not, there are certain confidences you never break. I, I fully agree. Um, as a man, there's certain things you don't do. Okay. PPP's grandpa there. Um, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. He even looks like PPP. Nick and, uh, yeah, last night, God, I saw the pictures. He looks rough. Uh, he's a Keno Casino fan. You, you, mean, you mean the guys who are just wishing me dead the other day? Yeah. Yeah, They these are really the moral people. Doxy my uncle on air, and we're doing all this shit. By the way, I don't claim to be the moral authority. But you don't see me trying to take up that role either. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say I haven't done some, you know, hardball shit, rough shit, wrong shit, if you feel that way. Um, but I don't come out here and fake moralize, which is their whole shtick. Well, that's pretty pathetic. Um, so here we go. Let's listen to it. Andrew said since did Nick's wife finally leave. I don't know. Ask her. I, I, I can't figure it out. You don't ever have some street. God, he looks goddamn Nick. Fucking A, dude. My n like, please. Fuck. This ain't good. God, I fucking feel bad, man. Like, and you know, the thing is, like, like, he, he I consider him, like, a friend and acquaintance. Like, he's not, like, one of my best friends, but, like, fuck, dude. I don't, like, I, I wouldn't want to see any of my, anybody I know go through shit like this. This ain't, this ain't. I mean, yeah, you can laugh at it a, a little bit, but fucking, fucking A. I don't fucking want to see this shit. This is awful. Like, if this was, like, one of my friends, this would break my fucking heart. I mean, like, but still, I just, I I wouldn't, I don't want to see anybody go through this. This is just awful to watch and see this. You don't ever have them. You never figured it out. The John part was awful and lasted forever. Okay, I, I understand that. But where do I go? All right, here we go. Oh, man. Oh, man, I cannot fucking imagine being in the place that this man is that he has to go to a youtube streamer to beg 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 for so he did the speed up thing i could have done that honestly i just don't like doing that in general i guess i could have though but say, please please rackets I love, you. I love you i have my family it's hates. only five minutes then we'll get to hoffman but me i can't get a job i'm so mentally handicapped like i can't do anything and my name is john all i want to do i want to die i want to put a bullet in my mouth but i can't afford a gun man that is embarrassing Right? I'm such a piece of shit. My family hates me. Nobody loves me. I'm just going to kill myself. You're messaging me. You're texting a fucking YouTuber. Holy. Oh my God, man, that's embarrassing. So this guy's in crisis and Nick's airing his shit out to the world. Yeah, but see, that's not the deal. Okay? Like, first off, nobody even knows who you are without Nick or Kata. Second off, it already happened years ago. Third off, the guy went on Kiwi Farms and talked about it ad nauseum, along with every other interaction he ever had with Nick Ricada, and has been posting about him 20 times a day for three years. So, if somebody wants to say, fuck that guy's privacy, quote unquote, fuck that guy, fuck keeping that guy's secret, he's within his rights to do that. At Old Wolf sent one dollar. Zero, zero on Rumble. Update on the Veto comic leak. All right, I'll pull that up. Now you can say he shouldn't do regardless. But without giving the background to it, it's not an honest framing. Does that make sense to anybody? You could still say he shouldn't do that. But if this fat motherfucker doesn't give that background, then you're dishonestly framing what happened which is what they're all trying to do. Now, I don't know. Maybe he said it at some point during this video. It's only four minutes left. I'm not holding my breath, but perhaps he does. But without that context, it's not fair. Now, you could hear all that and say, well, he still shouldn't do it. Even though the guy's already talked about himself, even though he's posted, you know, hate posts about him 20 times a day for years. You could still have that position. 
To me, I think he's within his rights to do what he did. Now, then you can talk about strategy. Is it, is it the best thing to do? Because you know how they're going to frame it and how they're going to, people who don't know the background, how they're going to be able to pull the wool over their eyes and you won't get all that context out there and they're just going to say you did this to somebody out of nowhere. Well, that's a different conversation. I'm just saying he's within his rights to do it. In my opinion. I don't know if that's controversial. I haven't really heard anybody else say it. <laughs> But in my opinion, the guy transformed and stepped out into the field. Well, that's, he took a different role. I don't know. Like, anyway, let me uh, read this. This is an update on the veto script leak. Alleged. I don't know. I haven't seen it. He said, I don't know if he saw this today or not, but. Uh, me talking about he says somebody posted an ancient version of the super killer script and my haters are frantically rummaging through it looking for something to complain about the fact that Noel has to pretend a scene involving a naked adult woman is a pedo reference tells you how desperate they are oh and Eric July is commenting on it too yeah Okay. Thank you. Ed. Like that's not how you fucking do that. That's 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 kind of fucked up, just a bit. If this is real, if it's fake, fine. But if it's real, like, no, I think it's real. Whew. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't fucking like this at all. No, I can't make it a new class. I'm crippling disabilities and anxieties. I love you, though. I love you. You're the greatest streamer of all time. You're the fucking best streamer ever. Oh, God. I love you. Please teach me how to do life. Like, I can't teach you how to do life because you're retarded. And this is taking away from my life, my evening, you know, and my wife and children in my normal middle class, upper middle class home with uh, real things. And I'm talking to a fucking retard, a literal goddamn, by definition, suicidal retard. Hey, John, were you walking to that hospital? No, you weren't. Were you, John? You were sitting in your shitty Section 8 apartment that you could not... This guy breathes hard as fuck. I thought I'd breathe heavy, but like... You pay for it because you can't hold a job. The YouTube streamer, you pay to be your friend. Now, John, what happens in most cases when you pay someone to be your friend and then you tell that person, right, John? Tell the person, holy shit, I, I'm going to end it all. What are they saying? What, what is the person you pay to be your friend? Say? Has Does he call? not breathe hard as fuck? It sounds like Darth Vader over there. Like, what the fuck? What is going on? Oh, a YouTube streamer to cry and say, I'm not worth living. I don't know what to do. Please don't do that. Because you begged, 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 begged me to save you. Because your family wouldn't save you because you were garbage. Because you couldn't save you because you're garbage. Because you don't have any friends to save you because you're garbage. Only person on earth you can reach out to, John, is one YouTube streamer that you pay $5 a month to. Seriously, you fucking, like... I mean, fuck. I mean, like, the client thing aside, even if I wasn't a lawyer and somebody came, like, well, I don't think, I, if I wasn't a lawyer, I wouldn't be fucking doing this and you guys would be here. But if I had a YouTube channel and someone came to me and was, like, threatening suicide and I helped them or whatever, I wouldn't fucking air their shit out at any point for any fucking reason like that. But Jesus Christ, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Seriously. Like what? You're gonna you're gonna fucking air out this guy's crisis to own the farms, or who the fuck is he trying to? Own? It was owning the guy personally, actually, and maybe a little bit. He does mention the farms later on, but this guy's personally been going at him. I don't know. It's just so dishonest. Own at this point. Like seriously. Yeah, I mean, fucking hey, this is just ugly. Well, yeah, I mean, that's true. It's a nasty business. I don't know. I tested that before. This part is really fucked up, man. You know, and I, I've been in bad spots before in my life, and I've really reached out to my friend to talk to him, and just like I talked off a cliff, but I've been in like really bad spots. But see, what you're not getting is this guy's a streamer. 
What's up, Beats? This guy's a streamer. Took time out of what he was doing to talk to a fan. And I've talked to plenty of fans. I talk to them now, too. If they send me a message, most likely I'll return it. If I see it. Um, and supporters, but even just regular fans. If I see it, most likely I'll respond to it. Especially emails and stuff. On Twitter, I mean, I don't respond to every single tweet, but I see them. DMs, I try to get to those. But, you know, Nick didn't have to do that. He decided to help this guy. He could have just said, look, I can't, you know, I got to do my life. Like, here's a suicide hotline, like I said earlier. But he didn't. He took time, hours and days and days and talked to this guy off air. And, you know, you, you, the guy portrayed himself as a friend, wanted a friend. Nick was trying to be a friend, even though he was not obligated to do that and thought it was wild. And then that guy starts shitting on him for clout, starts revealing their personal interactions and all that stuff on Kiwi Farms, and does so for years. It wasn't just a one-off post, and then he goes away. He does that every day for years. So how is that... Now, again, you could still say strategically he shouldn't have done that, but it's not a, not morally. I don't. I think he's perfectly within his rights to return fire. Stefan's right. These homos never expect to punch back, and they moral fag about it. Yes, that's exactly what it is. I've had my friends in really bad spots. Yeah, we know. People get in bad spots. Fuck. I mean, to do this to a random person to reach out to you, I mean, like, if that guy really had a problem, if he's still in a problem, you just fucking talked him off the edge. Like, right back onto it. Okay. I'm sure Nick gives a fuck. Because the guy's been fucking with him for three years. He probably hopes he does. <laughs> now, is that right, quote-unquote? Well, maybe not. But is it right for this guy to have posted, you know, for years and years and years about Nick and their conversations and his family? This story was already known, and they put together who it was because the guy had posted it on Kiwi Farms. Nick didn't reveal this. That faggot did. Ogilvy says a good turn never goes unpunished. He should have told the loser to jog on. Well, I mean, you can't help but come to that conclusion when you see this. But I probably would have done the same thing. Try to help the guy. But you're right. I mean... I don't know. You get a feel for people. There's some people who are genuine, and there's some people you you can't pick it all, though. You know, I've, I've had it happen even within the last six months. Somebody's talking to a lot. I'm your friend. Yeah, we're good friends. Yeah, you helped me this and that. Well, the mob starts start saying one thing. I talk to this guy a lot. Not necessarily through his crisis or anything like that, but he helped me with some shit. And he had one or two. I helped him with, you know, just his friends. And then, you know, he didn't like the show one day, or he didn't like you know, that I had relapsed or whatever. Now, to his credit, he hasn't went, and talk, as far as I know, talk shit about me or anything like that. In his case, he just went away. Now, that's acceptable. <laughs> it's like, all right, well, sorry you feel that way, whatever. But it was fake. It was fake love, like what Riketa was saying. And you can't always tell, like, whatever, if somebody's genuine. I don't know. I just try to be cool. <laughs> I just try to be cool with people if they approach me like that. And, um, you know, but to his credit, he just, you know, went away, stopped. You know, I sent a message one day and never, never heard back. It's like, all right, well, farewell. <laughs> what else can you do? Right? Um, so, I don't know. These things happen. But this guy put himself in a different class. Because then he went and put all this shit out. You know, in a certain way, I re even though I don't think that what the guy did was right, in my opinion, but I respect it because he just he just stopped watching, stopped talking. He's like, all right, whatever. <clears throat> okay. I see what it is. You know, I see where it is. They didn't go out and send out every message I'd ever sent him or everything I'd ever told him or I didn't do that to him. It's just like, well, somebody cut ties. That's perfectly reasonable. This this is it's fucking awful. That's just ugly as shit. But I, I I'll listen to the rest of that later. But that's 
what is it do you think we're doing out here? Why don't you get up and walk around, you fat motherfucker? Every time I see this guy, he's moral. Promoting Josh Moon and the Kino Casino. That's just ugly. Duh. Have you ever read Kiwi Farms, you fat motherfucker? Have you ever watched Kino Casino, you big son of a bitch? Buffet busters, what I call T-Clips. You look like a buffet goddamn Adam bomb. Golden Corral might have to close the company if you showed up. One branch is wiping out the whole fucking, the whole fucking industry. So you sit here and watch all this shit. Yeah, a lot of it's nasty. Just what is it do you think the fuck's going on around here? You disingenuous fat son of a bitch. I'm so sick of these fake moral fucking, fake ass moral authorities. Fuck off. You're fatter than PPP, maybe. You look like you are, quite honestly, which is quite an achievement. You sit and watch and promote Kiwi Farms and fucking Kino Casino, who both do nothing but a char character assassination. Nothing. That's all they do. And I do a bit of it myself. I'm not moral fagging about it. I'm just saying. That's all they fucking do. 100% in both cases. Character assassination and that's it. We have debates and guests and all kinds of shit. I go on trips. Sometimes I do IRL stuff. It's 100% character assassination on that show. And on Kiwi Farms. And this fat motherfucker promotes both of those. They were just doxing my uncle last week. Which again, I'm not moral fucking about it. I'm just saying. You can't fucking come out and take the positions you're taking supporting the shit you support. You can't come out and be this. Oh, wow. This is sick. This is, oh, no. This is just mean. Uh, uh. Okay, well, what, what the fuck do you think Kiwi Farms is? Motherfuckers have off themselves off Kiwi Farm. Motherfuckers have been uh, doxxed and hunted down and their families drugged through the streets. Rhetorically. Oh, but all that's good. All that's cool. Oh, it's free speech. Okay, well, you can have that position for sure. But then what? Rakeda can't respond? I don't know. I don't see how you can, without being a phony, fat motherfucker, I don't see how you can take that position. Now, if he came out and said, you know what? Ricada's drinking too much. Uh, he shouldn't have done this. I wouldn't have done this. Okay, I, you know, that's a different take. But he doesn't give you the background at all on who the fuck he's talking about. He doesn't tell you the guy revealed all this shit on his own. He doesn't tell you he's been going at Ricada for years, revealing private information, et cetera. He doesn't tell you any of that. And then he acts like, oh, my God, this is so this is so sick. And it's so sad to see Nick like this. And uh, I can't support this. All the while supporting Kino Casino and Kiwi Farms. Okay. Yeah. Makes a lot of fucking sense. Sounds like you're just a fat, dumb, just disingenuous bastard. Although you might not be too dumb. Because it works on a certain breed of retard who just wants to hear what they already have in their head. They just want it repeated back to them. They like being fake, moralizing faggots. They enjoy that. Now, some of them realize they're doing that and just don't care. And others actually think they're the moral side. Well, I got a little bit of news for you guys. There really is no moral side in this fucking business. Breaking news. Breaking news alert. If you're in this game, you've been in this game for a long time, most likely you've had to fucking go dirty from time to time. 
And that's for everybody. But particularly around here. And when you sit and promote Kino Casino, which, like I said, is 100% character assassination. Nothing else. Far be it for me to criticize that, whatever. But, like, that's all it is. And now you're... Now you're offended? Anton says, look, I'm trying to discuss ethics and video game journalism, and I take it very seriously. <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's where it comes from, because we did a lot of fake moralizing, too, there at the beginning of Gamergate. Of course, I always knew it was bullshit. But I was the pit bull out there attacking these motherfuckers. <laughs> then one of our guys would get attacked, and we'd be like, oh, no, this is a disgrace. Maybe that's where it came from. I don't know. Man. That's, the, that's the original son, Gamergate, that I can, we can never get away from. <laughs> yeah, I guess there was a little bit of that um, at the beginning, and then I I dropped that in the 2015. Now, of course, it was already it was different. Um, that was early Gamergate, but there was a more in 2015 and then i just was unapologetically ruthless to the opposition which got me shit within gamergate so like this guy oh we're it's really about ethics and gaming journalism I'm like nah it's about wrecking these fucking feminists dude what the fuck are you talking about like <laughs> uh no i'm out here to destroy <laughs> no i want to make these motherfuckers think twice about what they're doing and signing up for the fucking shit that they're doing and let other people see what it's all about. And what could happen to them if they want to be a spokesman for this bullshit. Now, is that a hardball way to approach it? Is that a nasty way to approach it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. But that was what I that was what I decided. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm gonna show them. Now, again, this was a reaction to them doing the same shit like they've been doing that for years unchecked a lot of people don't realize but um there's some people in the gaming industry to this day who remember the shit i did to a lot of those motherfuckers <laughs> i got headlines all over the world for for what i did to the bioware stooge bitch that worked there and the sun everywhere else the shit I wrote about Brianna Wu and Zoe Quinn and Randy Harper. And it was not Ian Miles Chong. And it was nasty. Very nasty. But they had been used to being very nasty to us for a long time. Without any return fire. Yeah, some people do get high on their own supply. That's true. I don't know. I, I feel like some people actually believe that they are the moral side, there really isn't. Um, I don't know. That doesn't mean you have to be like the monster, like they call me or whatever. Like, um, that's not real either. I mean, people are just people. They make mistakes. Uh, they fuck up. They do wrong things. Um, I don't know. Um, but like some moral authority. I just don't, I, when your business is, you know, going after people online, or at least as a part of my business, I don't really get out here moralizing a lot, or at least trying to portray myself as, oh, I can't believe this, and oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, I can't believe this guy did this, oh, he docked someone, oh, oh, no, he revealed a personal story about a guy who was attacking him for years? Oh, no. What a cretin. <laughs> it's like, uh, I've seen a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that, too. When did email, email Sean flip? 2015. I think it was late 2015, if I recall correctly. But, yeah, he was big anti-Gamergate. The articles are still up on my site. 
Ogilvy, that's what I think too. He's just point scoring. He doesn't believe a word of what he's saying. That's exactly what I believe. That's exactly what I think. And I guess it would be easier in certain ways if I just came out here and said a bunch of shit I didn't actually fucking believe. And, you know, just rolled with the mob on every single thing. Like Medicare does, quite frankly. Well, it's easier for him. Because there's no original voice there. He's just going along with whatever the anonymous mob or someone less anonymous than they think um, is saying. And that's his whole career. Am I wrong? I don't think so. And you can do really well like that. I mean, I'm not going to take that away from him. You can do really well like that. But I just, I don't know. I guess I just don't have it in me. <laughs> and even when I had that mob's favor, quote unquote, um, I still had my own voice. I still had my own thoughts and would frequently express them. Whereas you don't really see him and several others, by the way, but. I don't really see him take too many strong positions on on these topics unless it's moving one way or the other already in the mob. And it's smart in a certain way. I can't deny. But I don't feel that it's authentic. And uh, I don't feel this sap, fat sack of shit here is authentic either. Just my thoughts. Fucking ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. So I just, there's nothing. I thought it was going to be good or some interesting there. I mean, I've already said what I need to say. So, but yeah, God, Nick. Fucking ain't, dude. You need to get up and walk around. This is just pathetic and cruel. Nick is just a gross alcoholic. So strange to see him like this after I stopped watching him a few years ago. He spiraled so quickly and so completely downwards. There's comment after comment like this. Including lies. Ralph recorded his good friend crying about losing his baby. No, actually, he said that, and they're talking about Rand. I would never have called him a good friend, by the way. But he posted that on BitChute on his own stream. He's slowly becoming the new Ralph. Yeah, I saw a lot of people compare it to me. And you know what? On one hand, for good reason. Because if a motherfucker I had stopped from killing himself was out there posting about me 20 fucking times a day, it probably would have been a lot quicker than three fucking years before I went off on his ass. Probably been more like three fucking weeks. So in my mind, Riketa showed a lot of restraint. The guy could have had some decorum and just went away. Or stopped talking about Nick, but he tried to make himself an authority on Nick. He tried to, not tried to, did talk about this story and many other conversations he had with Riketa. And threw him under the bus for no reason. Just because the mob had started, and this was a while back. Two, three years ago, he threw him under the bus to get ass pats from Kiwi Farms. Well, that's a dirty motherfucker. This guy saved your life. By your retelling. So, I don't see how that's honorable. Now, you could still say Rakeda shouldn't have done this. But I... Why does the other guy not get any? Because they don't even want you to know that. And, you, and most of you probably wouldn't even know that. If you didn't hear this show. Because you won't hear it anywhere else. Because they won't give you the background on it. And if you never fucking know. And you can still disagree with Nick doing it, by the way. After you know that. But you literally won't hear it anywhere else. Josh Moe won't tell you that. Fucking Aborski's not going to tell you that. Fat ass ain't going to tell you that. Because they're trying to frame it a certain way to cause maximum damage on Nick Ricada.
And so if you never even hear, I would say a good 80% or more will never even know the background there. And that's how they want it. Now, if they were honest kings of integrity like Cog, they would tell you the backstory. And then you could still say he's wrong. You could still say it's fucked up. Like, it doesn't... Telling the backstory doesn't stop you from saying that. Now, I don't feel that way, but I'm just saying, you could still take that position. Like, the knowing the backstory doesn't, for like, preclude you from having that position. But it... The reason they don't is because they want maximum damage. Right? Does that make sense? And it's bullshit. Uh, they're basically hiding the context. They're hiding the full story. And I don't expect that to stop. And they've done that numerous times to Rikata. They'll continue to do so. And they've done it a lot, plenty of times to me. Um, or just outright make up shit. Now, that's a totally different class. That's a totally different topic. But they'll do that as well. Just outright make up shit. Now, in this case, I was calling it fake news in his chat last night, and I saw one of the haters, and I'm like, what does he mean? It's not fake news. Is he saying it didn't happen? No, that's what I meant. Well, I just got through talking about it for two fucking hours, and I didn't plan it to be that long. I'm sorry. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!